All right, it is my annual year-end top favorite figures that I reviewed for the year. And for 2023, we are doing a top 15 format. And some of the, you might notice that some of the figures might not have been released in 2023, but the criteria is if I reviewed them for the year 2023, they are eligible to be on the list. So let's get right to it. But before we begin, I would like to give some honorable mentions. Uh, these are probably my, uh, three of my favorite hauls uh, for this year. Uh, most of you guys know my all-time favorite Star Wars movie is Return of the Jedi. Yes, more than Empire Strikes Back. And these three are probably three of the coolest Black Series figures out there. And I do apologize. I have not reviewed them. I haven't gone around to opening them up. And the story behind it was I was planning to get two of each, but just ended up getting one of each because some of the figures got canceled. Like these two got canceled on Amazon and other online shops and it, it just sucks and I didn't get an opportunity to get doubles and it this thing completely goes against my rule of mint on card on mint and sealed box uh, for Hasbro products because like I always preach that you got to open up Hasbro products because you never know if you've got a defective product or not. So I will definitely open up these three, probably review them all together. Let me know in the comments if you're still interested in seeing these, these guys reviewed. Would you like me to review them one at a time or as a trio? So honorable mentions go to the Star Wars, the Black Series, retro carded 40th anniversary of the Return of the Jedi. We have characters from Return of the Jedi, the Emperor, Darth Vader, and Luke Skywalker as a Jedi Knight. In at number 15, we have the giant-sized Funko Pop Unicron, the Chaos Bringer. Now, this figure was released, I believe, in 2022, but I did pick him up in 2023 for super clearance price of about $18, and it's probably one of my favorite hauls for the year. I love this figure. I couldn't afford to get the HasLab, sold off all my Unicron figures, and this is going to be my Unicron in my Transformers collection, the Funko Pop giant-sized Unicron. At number 14, we have the Master and Apprentice from Ahsoka. We've got the Black Series, Balen Skull, and Shin Hati. Now, both these figures are not perfect, as you've seen in my reviews, but I just love the characters, and I think the figures are good enough, at least until Hasbro re-releases and repacks these figures. I think there's a lot of good things about these figures, despite not being in perfect scale. I just love how they came out. They could use some work, but I think they're good enough for this countdown. At number 14, the Black Series, Balen Skull and Shin Hati. At number 13, we've got the two Insecticons that were released this year, Shrapnel and Bombshell. Now, a lot of people are complaining about these two figures. They were very similar and all that, but I'm just really, really glad to have completed all the Lux class Insecticons for the Legacy line. I have put Kickback right there just to complete the trio. I personally think it, they're great figures. They're definitely the best generation style, G1 styled Insecticons we've had in a long time. At number 13, the Legacy Insecticons of Bombshell and Shrapnel. At number 12, we've got a tie of two of my favorite G.I. Joe Classified Series figures. We've got Firefly version 2.0 and Lowlight. These two figures are just absolutely incredible. I mean, if you're a big fan of the Classified Series and you just love G.I. Joe, these are two of the figures you absolutely must pick up and they go well together. Two amazing figures from the Classified Series line, Firefly and Lowlight at number 12. At number 11, another tie. We've got the Minibots in Generations format as deluxe class figures, Brawn and Beachcomber. I mean, these figures weren't perfect. I had issues with Brawn and the clearances and of course, Beachcomber. I never liked this thing. So, you know, I have was about to shoot that parakeet. But these two figures are probably one of the best legacy figures we've had 
uh, in a while. I mean, he's studio series, he's legacy, uh, you know what I'm saying. They're both generations figures. We've been asking Hasbro and Takara Tomi to give us more of the mini bots, and they absolutely delivered on these two figures. And I'm hoping we get the rest of uh, the mini bots done in deluxe class format for the generations line, either studio series 86 or legacy uh, formats. Doesn't matter because they're all generations figures absolutely love these two uh at number 11 we've got the deluxe class generation style g1 styled brawn and beachcomber at number 10 we have the black series from the series ahsoka hera Sindula and Sabine Wren. Now, both these two figures, I was a little bit iffy on them, but they both turned out great. I love how the Sabine hair, hair sculpt, head sculpt uh, turned out. I was very, very worried that that hair sculpt and that face wasn't going to be up to spec, up to par, but it turned out great. And Hera, I always say this, she is the sleeper figure in the wave of Black Series figures she belongs in. And a lot of people have been just passing up on this figure one of the best black series figures out there i absolutely enjoyed both these two figures at number 10 from the black series from the ahsoka series on disney plus we've got sabine wren and general hera syndula and in at number nine we've got a lot more black series love we've got from the old republic knights of the old republic we've got the deluxe uh Black Series figure of Darth Malleus and Bastila Shan, both gaming greats figures. And man, I really, really love these uh, Old Republic figures that Hasbro's come up with for the Black Series line. They just absolutely nailed these figures. These two in particular are, the, I think, the best uh, Old Republic figures out there. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous looking figures. Things are looking great for the Black Series line. At number nine, we've got the Black Series Darth Malgus and Bastila Sean. At number eight, the only Marvel Legends figure that I reviewed for the year to make it into the countdown, we've got the 60th anniversary of Avengers Black Widow. This is the ultra poseable Black Widow. This figure absolutely blew me away. I honestly didn't expect it to be this good and as you can see, as evidenced, it's made it to my countdown and in the top 10 to boot. A gorgeous, gorgeous figure filled with tons of accessories, uh, three amazing head sculpts, and that killer, fully articulated, super articulated body, uh, new female buck for the Marvel Legends. At number eight, the Avengers Assemble 60th Anniversary Black Widow. In at number seven, we've got quite possibly the best studio series Optimus Prime figure from the movieverse out there. We've got from Rise of the Beasts, Voyager class, Buzzworthy Bumblebee, Optimus Prime. Man, this figure was a peen to acquire and it's being scalped and hoarded here and there. But, you know, whatever's been said about this figure, bad alt mode, Lots of gaps here and there. This is, I believe, one of the best, if not the best, studio series Voyager class Optimus Prime out there. And I think it, it beats the, the previous ones released. Even Jetwing and all that. I think this figure came out great. I was skeptical at first, but when I reviewed it, man, I was clearly very, very impressed with this figure. My only gripe about it was this teeny tiny weapon, which I'm sure a DNA kit can easily fix. At number seven, from Rise of the Beast Studio Series, Voyager class Buzzworthy Bumblebee, Optimus Prime. At number six, we have more Black Series love. We have the Black Series from The Clone Wars. Ahsoka Tano as Anakin Skywalker's Padawan. I really, really fell in love with this figure and I thought I couldn't see a, we wouldn't see a better Ahsoka Tano Black Series figure after that Walmart exclusive or after that Mandalorian figure. But in my opinion, this is the best Black Series Ahsoka Tano figure that Hasbro's ever produced. Oh my goodness. This figure just has 
everything fantastic head sculpt great accessories the sculpt the detail and all that definitely definitely one to pick up and the best thing about it is it is not an exclusive you pick this up a particular wave and he she comes two per case man if you're a big black series fan and you love the character you have got to pick up this figure and number six from the black series from the clone wars ahsoka tano as anakin skywalker's pod one and kicking off our top five, at number five, we've got the Studio Series 86 Leader Class Dino Bot Snarl. Man, this figure was amazing. I didn't expect it to be this good, but this figure, in my opinion, is the best Dino Bot out of all the four Dino Bots that have been released for the Studio Series 86 line. Man, it's such a great transformation. Details. At number five, we've got the Studio Series 86 Leader Class Dino Bot Snarl. At number four, we have what I believe is still the best Black Series Luke Skywalker figure out there. We've got from the Mandalorian Light Cruiser. Black Series, Luke Skywalker. I mean, this figure is just amazing. He's a lot of fun to pose. He's got the soft goods cloak. Uh, I mean, a great lightsaber. He's got the new sort of kimono, Japanese geese inspired uh, Jedi Knight uniform. Great head sculpt. Just a fantastic, fantastic looking Luke Skywalker in the Black Series format. I absolutely love this figure. And number four, from the Black Series, Luke Skywalker. At number three, we've got yet another tie from the G.I. Joe Classified Series. We've got Agent Helix and General Clayton Hawk Abernathy. Man, it just goes to show how much or oh, how great these new Classified Series are for them to make it in my top three countdown for the year and they've bested a lot of really cool transformers figures that's how amazing these figures are and i think my gi joe classified series figures of the year are going to be tied with both hawk and agent helix in the top spot i don't know about you guys i mean i, I didn't get all the releases for 2023 but I had to pick the ones that I really loved or I thought I would love. And these two figures did not disappoint. They get my vote for figures of the year. At number three, we've got the G.I. Joe Classified Series, Agent Helix and General Hawk. And at number two, we have quite possibly one of the best generation styled uh, version of Optimus Prime released by Hasbro and Takarotomi. We've got the Transformers Legacy Armada Universe Commander Class Optimus Prime. Man, this figure is a beast. I mean, it's a great, great looking update. I mean, you can pose it. There's a lot of details. There's a lot of modes. You've got base mode, combine mode. You've got trailer mode. You've got a small robot mode. It's a great improvement from the previous or original release of Armada Optimus Prime. I mean, that figure was very gimmicky. Uh, it was very solid though, and I'm actually still after one for a good price. I'd probably still get it. Uh, but right now, this one, just ticks off all the boxes for me for an Armada Optimus Prime. And it is an incredible, incredible figure. If you're, even if you're not into the series, the Armada series, but you love Optimus Prime and you collect the Generations figures, you have got to pick up this figure because I guarantee you will love it. And number two from the Legacy line, the Armada Universe Commander Class Optimus Prime. Now you're thinking, what could possibly beat this beast of a figure well we'll find out as we go to the number one top spot for my top 15 all-time favorite uh, figures i reviewed for 2023 and finally the top spot the winner is studio series 86 commander class Autobot commander ultra magnus oh my goodness this figure was probably my most anticipated figure released for 2023 and you know a lot of fans were saying and a lot of collectors saying his scale is completely off i honestly don't care i think this is the best 
Ultra Magnus figure that we've had from Hasbro and Takara Tomi. It represents him in the G1 style and generation style. I mean, sure, some people will say the masterpiece is still better. I mean, come on. This figure is just the perfect size. It's not too difficult to transform. It's not annoying. It's not cumbersome. The details are all there. I mean, the paint apps is great. It's very, very accurate to the show. Uh, there was some issue with the hinge right here uh, on the shoulder, but as you can see, you can hold a gun properly without really collapsing and just falling. That hinge is, is holding up pretty nicely, at least in my pose. I honestly think this was the best, and if not my favorite, this thing really beat uh, that Armada Universe uh, Legacy Optimus Prime by a hair, by a hair. I, I wanted to put them both in top spot, but there can be only one, till all are one. In top spot, we've got the Studio Series 86. Commander class, Autobot Commander, from the movie, Transformers movie, 1986, Ultra Magnus. So there you have it, folks. This has been my top 15 favorite uh, figures that I reviewed for 2023. And I'm looking forward to more figures to review in 2024. Let me know what you think of my list. What were your favorites? Was there any figure you felt was should not have been included on in the list or should have been included on the list? Let me know in the comment section. And again, to remind you, just let me know if you guys still want to see a review of those retro carded 40th anniversary return of the Jedi uh, Black Series figures of Darth Vader, Luke, and the Emperor. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And being a, it is a year and video for my channel. I wanted to just wish everybody a happy, happy holidays. And for those of you who are celebrating Christmas, we're celebrating Christmas out here in Manila. I wanted to wish you guys a very, very happy Christmas. Maligayang, maligayang Pasko sa inyong lahat. And I want to wish you all a very safe and prosperous, hope-filled new year. For the coming 2024, nais ko lang kayong batiin ng isang mapagpala at manigong ligtas na bagong taon para sa taong 2024. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for sticking it with the Chefatron channel. You guys know that I love you guys so much and it really means so much to me that you guys really support the channel and just watch the content and I love that you guys keep commenting and I love the discussion that goes on with each video I put up and it really really means a lot and there are several of you out there in particular I'm not gonna mention uh, but you guys have helped me through some rough patches for 2023 you guys know who you are thank you thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and let me know in the comments as well what you want me to review for 2024 and with that uh thank you for watching this top 15 favorite action figures reviewed for 2023 and this is chefatron signing off for 2023